my lovely friends welcome to my channel creative art i am the lima and today we are going to make this two beautiful indian and ethnic look plate wall decors if you look at the design closely you will observe i have actually done pichwai painting on these plates which gives a ethnic and indian look to my walls i am absolutely in love with this design and this painting type and i'm going to make few more pitch white paintings the colors used for this paintings are really bright and brilliant colors this a brighten up my space wonderfully so this is something you must definitely give it a try so friends please to watch the whole video to make this beautiful plate decor yourself and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and and do press the bell icon to get notifications for each video i post every week so friends let's quickly check out the materials we are going to need for making this beautiful pichwai painting on plates first of all friends we are going to need two plastic white plates i have taken the size of 20 cm you can also select 30 cm size next for coloring we are going to use a premium artist metallic gold color and with it fevicryl acrylic colors These are for fabric, leather, terracotta and wood but this time we are going to use it on plastic plates. And next friends, on these plates we are going to use texture white as a primer so that your painting will be easy. And other than that, we are going to need brushes, palette and a cup for water. As I always say friends, use brushes according to your comfort. This time I'm going to use flat hair brush number 10, round hair brush number 8. number 3 number 1 number 0 and number 00 for the detailing part and the most important thing for a plate decor is a varnish because it's only the varnish which will protect your plate decors from dust and other things so do use the best varnish available i like to use liquidex professional high gloss varnish it is though costly but it is worth to its price other than that if you're not good in drawing you're going to need these two This is a carbon paper for tracing. I generally use a yellow carbon paper and my reference. To get this reference for your painting, please to check out my website which is www.creativearthome.com. You can easily copy this reference. So let's start the video now, friends. So now, friends, first of all, we are going to apply texture white on our plastic plate so that the coloring part will be really easy when we do it and our color won't flow through the plate. So using a brush I'm going to spread the texture white all over the plate give it a very light coating of texture white Friends if you're not good in drawing you can simply copy the template from my website and what you have to do is you have to place a carbon paper this is a yellow carbon paper on your plate then place my template on it and then secure the side of the plate with the carbon paper and the template using two side tape like this and go all over through the design using a pencil or a pen okay so now friends my tracing part is finally completed so i'm going to remove the reference and the carbon paper so this is how our tracing part looks friends so now we are going to start the coloring part and for coloring we are going to use fevicryl acrylic colors these can be done on fabric leather terracotta and wood but this time we are going to do it on plastic so make note that we are not going to mix any water with this colors we are directly going to use this colors on this plate so let's start now so first of all i'm going to pour acrylic colors in my palette we're going to need just a little bit of white pink yellow parrot tree and olive tree so these are the colors we are going to need for making lotus and its leaf okay so first of all friends i'm going to start coloring from lotus and i'm using white color in my paint brush remember that this time we are not going to mix water with the color then take just a little bit of light pink mix it with white and then do a slight shading in this way then again add just a little bit of more pink in the same and then finally do it with the pink so this is how step by step you have to color a petal in the lotus first take white then take a mixture of pink and white and then finally
then finally use pink color in the same way you have to do do for this petals also then directly take the pink color so the technique is a really very simple friends as you have noticed you have to place white color first from the bottom itself then gently mix a little bit of pink with it wipe your brush pull it downwards in this way each time wipe your brush now on the same lotus itself i'm going to use just a little bit of white here on the edges pull it upwards in this way. okay after you have placed white place just a tint of yellow in the bottom wipe your brush and then pull it in this way if you find it too much you can minimize it at the same time using white color okay so in this way friends you have to paint the lotus and the buds the same way i have done here okay now friends we are going to start coloring the leaf part for that first of all i'm going to use a light green color i have mixed it up with just a little bit of yellow okay now i'm going to use olive green color and start placing it in this way then you have to add just a little bit of black with the same olive green color and mark it in this way take one single bow in this way then again take some darker color and do the lining and the shading and i'm using the same dark green color and use just a little bit of light green from the edge this is perfect so this is the way we have to do it and a slight line of light green in this part. so in the same way i'm going to color this leaf also now friends after coloring the lotus and the leaves i'm going to start coloring the cow so for that i'm going to use white color i'll apply white color all over the body of cow and now i'm going to use purple color to color the background so in the same way friends i'm going to color the whole background as purple and then show you how does it looks okay so now friends i have finally completed coloring the background as purple and now we're going to start coloring the cow for that on the head piece i'm going to use chrome yellow color and shade it using a light yellow color Now I'm going to start doing the outlining and for that I'm using a combination of brown color and black that will clearly define the shape of cow. Now I'm going to outline the eye. Now friends, I'm using golden color to color all the jewelry part and the head piece. Now friends, after completing the whole painting, I'm going to do the border line using golden color. Now friends, I'm using ultramarine blue color to color this part. So now friends, I have finally completed all the coloring part and this is how beautiful our Pichwai painting looks. I have also given a golden border which completely highlights the painting. In the same way, I have done one more in orange color and this is how it looks. The design is completely same. I have just done the reverse of this painting and I have got the same so that I can pair these both. So friends, whenever you do such a beautiful and important painting, it is always important to preserve it in the best way you can. 
so this time i'm going to use a liquitex professional high gloss varnish which is one of my best varnish to protect my paintings so i'm going to do two layers on each plate decor and always remember friends that your plate decor should be completely dry before you do the varnish first of all pour some varnish in your plate and then using a flat hair brush start applying it on your plate in this way apply a generous amount and then let it get dry you can already see the glossy look of the varnish it gives on the plate and especially when you're doing acrylic color on such a surface like plastic or tin it is very important to give it a secure coating of varnish so that the paint stays on the surface so now i'll let it get dry and then i'll show you how to place it on walls okay the varnish is finally done now friends i'm going to show you how i hang this light weighted plastic plates this is quite a lightweight plastic plate so you can easily hang it using a two side tape you have to simply cut a sufficient size of two side tape and stick it at the center back of the plate in this way remove the cover of the two side tape and then place it on the wall press it gently so that it may stick very well to the wall let me show you a close-up view of our painting so that you can clearly see the coloring part we have done the lotus and the cow and how beautiful the golden outline and the jewelry looks in this painting and this is the full view of our plate decor friends so friends please give it a try make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below friends how did you find this video and if you do like my videos friends please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching